everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video today's video is going to be a lipstick related video i'm going to do a mini review and swatch of all the lipsticks uh, the new lipsticks i have purchased from india so if you guys are interested to see the swatches and also hear my thoughts on these lipsticks then please continue watching okay guys let's quickly get started so today's video is going to be only on the lipsticks which i purchased from india i have 10 of them and like from various brands i have uh, eight, six, six, seven brands and ten lipsticks, mix of liquid lipsticks and lipsticks. So yeah, let's begin. I think I'll start off with the first brand, my favorite one. I think I'll go in order, like the most favorite from the least favorite. So the least favorite lipsticks you're going to see at the end. Let me talk about the most favorite ones which I have. So let's talk about the one which I'm wearing right now. These are Chambord extreme uh, wear transfer proof liquid lipsticks i absolutely love these liquid lipsticks uh, i have been raving about these since i think one and a half year or so i got this shade 483 last time and i absolutely loved that lipstick so this time when i went to india i purchased that shade so this is the shade 483 this is how it looks this is how 483 looks like and here we'll see a swatch of this on my lips i will show you the shade 482 as well this is what i'm wearing on my lips right now it's a really really pretty nude color the previous one 483 is like a pinky nude shade it's like one of my favorite favorite shades like i love pinky nude lipsticks so 483 is just that and this is 482 it's like a proper nude lipstick like a mauve nude lipsticks and this one you can see is like a pinky nude lipstick i just love this and then uh, i got another lipstick 408 so i got three i forgot to mention i got three shades from shambor so this is 408 this is one of the new shades and it's so so beautiful if you are someone if you are having any skin tone just get this shade it's so beautiful it's like a pinky berry lipstick but it's just like a perfect amount of pink and perfect amount of, of berry it's so pretty i'll show you it uh, swatched on my lips right now i just love this shade i think it will suit a lot of indian skin tones so those are the three chamber lipsticks i got as, as i was saying i love the formula of the chamber lipsticks i feel like this time around i don't know if something has changed the formula has changed or not it's taking a little bit more time to dry down on my lips like i remember the last time i got this shade 483 it dried down matte on my lips pretty quickly but this time these three lipsticks are taking a bit of time but they do dry down matte like they are matte they do not transfer and they are really really comfortable on the lips they are pretty long wearing as well they don't flick they don't have any kind of weird texture they just apply really beautifully and they look matte let me know if you have used these and how do you find them i personally find them really really comfortable so that's what matters the most to me something which doesn't transfer and is comfortable is like really really good the next lipstick formula which i really really loved and i was quite impressed with is this one from kiko milano and this is their instant lip color matte liquid lip color and i have got the shade 10 this is a very beautiful purpley berry sort of a color which i used in my get ready with me the other day and this is how the shade looks like uh, this is the shade and i think the formula is also really nice it dries down completely matte within like 30 45 seconds and then it doesn't really transfer that much but it looks really smooth and velvety on the lips there is no like flaking or cracking on any or anything like that and it's really really comfortable so i'm quite impressed with this uh, lipstick formula the only thing with this shade particularly what i noticed is that it has a little bit of shine it's not glossy it's just like i feel like it has tiny bit of shimmer in it uh, if i'm not wrong and it looks pretty shiny on the lips you can see in uh, in my lip swatch as well that it looks a little bit shiny and i think that's a very interesting uh, addition to this lip shade i'm not really sure if it is with all the lip shades but this one on my lips it looks a little bit shiny and i do like it the next lipstick which i think is really good is the faces ultime pro liquid matte lipstick now i got one shade uh, dark chocolate and i think the shade what i got is like something which i'm not very very crazy about it's like a very standard chocolatey brown shade and to be honest i 
don't really wear these kind of shades very often like this is a true reddish brown shade but anyways i'm quite happy with the formula now this is a very very thin formula it just goes like almost like oil or water but after a point it dries down a little bit but it doesn't completely dry down so the texture is like very similar to the huda lipsticks after it has dried down matte because there is a little bit of tackiness it doesn't completely dry down so that's why these are really really comfortable and if you are looking for matte lipsticks which will not transfer at all these are not for you obviously these are less expensive than huda lipsticks these are 900 rupees which i feel like still is pretty expensive considering it's a indian brand uh, but i think it's a good lipstick if you are looking for something very very comfortable the faces ultime pro ones are good i think i really like this i just wish i got some other color next lipstick which i liked are the sugar lipstick and i got one shade only this is the suede secret matte lip color and this is the shade taffeta terracotta 06 and this is a really pretty shade something similar to the previous one i showed you but it's a little bit more terracotta i feel so there's a more chance that i will wear the sugar one more here is a swatch of the sugar one this is the one it's more as you can see both of these shades are a little bit similar but this one is more on the terracotta brown side which i prefer these are also really really nice formula in fact when i had asked you guys on instagram which lipsticks should i get this was like one of the top picks everybody had asked me to get one of these so yeah i'm pretty happy with this uh, formula these are made in italy so that's interesting and i like the packaging as well these retail for how much are they retail for i don't really remember 700 799 yes 799 so less expensive than some of the other lipsticks i showed you right now and these are also really very comfortable to wear i would say they are drying on the lips but they are not uncomfortable drying now these lipsticks also dry down completely matte on my lips although they take a little bit of time to dry down completely matte and once they are dry they do not feel uncomfortable and they are quite long wearing as well i haven't worn them for very very long hours but i have worn this for around 4 5 hours and for 5 hours i think this lipstick is great they are pretty comfortable towards the end of the wear all of these lipsticks tend to get a little bit drying but that's i think is in the nature of liquid lipsticks i definitely don't mind wearing such formula which are dry on the lips but they are not highly uncomfortable for me i think these are really comfortable they somehow remind me of abh lipstick formula so yeah i did not mind this i think if i given a chance i would definitely buy more of these the next lipstick which i want to talk about is a crayon lipstick and i think this is a really really good find which i have So these are the Nykaa matte matteleicious lipsticks and I got a shade Jade Rose and I love this shade. I think I have one more uh crayon the Nykaa crayons. I quite like the Nykaa crayons. They look matte but they are not uncomfortable or anything. They do not dry down completely matte but they look matte and they look really nice on the lips. So this is the shade Jade Rose. This is how this one looks. and i swatched it on my instagram that day that this one looks quite close to the abh uh, rosewood shade i keep raving about let me just get the uh, rosewood shade and i'll just uh, do a swatch here with it okay so here is abh rosewood and here is nykaa jade rose this is how they look they are slightly different but when swatched they look quite close to each other so i thought let me do a compare So this one is ABH Rosewood. You can see it's slightly more pink, and the Nykaa Jade Rose it is a little bit more pinky mauve. But yeah, they are quite similar on the lips. They look a little bit different. But if you want something similar to Rosewood, probably you could try the Jade Rose shade. That's the closest one I have found till now for ABH Rosewood. I'm still searching for a dupe for this. Okay the next lipstick which i picked up is from Faces and this is the Faces Ultime Pro lip crayons this is not exactly new i have used them before but i picked up a new shade and this is the shade Midnight Rose and last time i did not pick up this one and when i saw it this time i felt like buying it it's just such a pretty color it's like a reddish pinky sort of a color this is the shade Midnight Rose and i really love this color i don't know why last time i did not pick up because i all i had already bought so much anyways now i have it and i really like the faces ultime pro lip crayons 
because I feel like they are so so nicely pigmented they are just so smooth and creamy they just glide on the lips so nicely and they dry down somewhat matte but they are not uncomfortable for me uh, at least for the first few hours and whenever I feel like they are looking a little bit dry I just take them off and reapply it because yes these ones maybe after four five hours they tend to get a bit drying on the lips but I think still I love the texture and the especially the color range I think the color range is what attracts me the most for these uh, lip crayons uh, they have some really nice interesting unique sort of colors they have a lot of nudes a lot of pinks and a lot of reds and those also i feel like they are somewhat unique so that's why i really love these faces lip crayons next i have three more lipsticks two more brands all the three lipsticks i do not really prefer so first one is from nika this is the nika matte to last liquid lipsticks i finally got a chance to get these uh, lipsticks and i picked up two shades this is madras copy and this is it girl so let's talk about madras copy first let me swatch it here so this is how the packaging looks like i think the packaging is pretty good uh, very sleek uh, with the cardboard packaging and everything and each lipstick has a city theme so that's pretty nice here's a swatch of madras copy this is how this one looks this is madras copy and i think this is a very very beautiful nude shade it will suit a lot of Indian skin tones even if you're tan or uh, deeper complexion I think this might work for you even on my skin tone this works I can pull it off but maybe if you are three two three shades darker than me maybe it may not work it may be too light for you or very close to your skin tone but I think still uh, Nika has done a good job with this nude uh, this is how it looks on my skin tone the next shade which I got is It Girl and this is this beautiful berry pink shade. This is how It Girl looks like. It's a berry pink shade. One of my favorite kind of shades to wear. And till now I don't have anything similar to that over here. So that's good. And this is how it looks on my lips. I think this also will flatter a lot of Indian skin tones. Now about the formula of these lipsticks. I think these are like okay. I think I do not love them i do not hate them they are somewhere in between i think the formula is pretty good it could have been better the texture is very very lightweight they go very like almost liquidy on the lips but they do dry down and they dry down matte they do not transfer that much at least on me i did not face a lot of transfer but they do take a little while to dry down matte and after they are dried they do not feel drying but they are not very comfortable as well they feel at tad bit drying i mean even today i think i will prefer all the other liquid lipsticks i have shown over the nika liquid lipstick because all of them are more comfortable to me this is also not a bad formula i think it would have been great uh, absolutely great if it was a little bit more comfortable little bit non drying this is not exactly very drying but somewhat it's something about it that it's not extremely comfortable uh, but it's not too uncomfortable you know what i mean so definitely not a bad product i think uh, if you love matte lipsticks and you don't mind it being a little drying i think it will definitely like these okay we're down to the last lipstick the 10th lipstick and this is another one from sugar and this is their smudge me not liquid lipsticks and i do not really prefer this one the color is really really pretty i have the shade wine and dine i think wine and shine not wine and dine this is how the shade looks like it's like absolutely my kind of shade so probably just because of that i will wear it along with lip balm or something but it's really really drying i mean it's quite drying so this is how the shade looks like on my uh, back of my hand it's a very pretty bright berry pink kind of a shade and it's an absolutely stunning shade i love the shade if you're close to my skin tone you should definitely have a shade like this these kind of shades just brighten up your entire face and they just look amazing the problem with this one is the formula i do not like the formula it's so so drying this formula is a perfect example of lipsticks which are drying for me they are like really really uncomfortable and drying and after a while they just get so so drying i wore this for around one hour that day and it was just so drying 
uh, even after 15 20 minutes it was getting very very dry so definitely if you have these lipsticks you have to have to exfoliate and apply lip balm and then wear this lipstick otherwise it's going to be very very dry i would highly recommend these ones the suede secret matte lip color from sugar but the smudge me not are just too drying for me at least for me they are just too drying so those were all the lip shades i picked up from india another look at all the shades swatched and i think i picked a really nice selection of shades and i love pretty much all the lipsticks uh, barring the last one maybe the Nika one is also pretty okay uh, I mean it's worth a try I wouldn't try this sugar one again other than that I think all the others the Shambor, Kiko, Faces, uh, the Suede Secret from for Sugar, the Nika Matte Crayons and the Faces Crayons all I love. With that I have come to the end of today's video I really hope that this video was helpful to you and you enjoyed the swatches if you liked it then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're watching me for the first time then i really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel thank you so much for watching me today i will see you guys really soon in my next video bye